Hello and welcome to another of my walkthrough videos, this time of Lady Grey, a lovely example of the Bavaria 33 cruiser that was built in 2016. Lady Grey is a one private owner, two cabin version of the Bavaria 33 with the optional silk grey gel coat rather than the standard white. Before we get too far into the video, I offer my standard apology for my plummy narration. I am unable to do a narration whilst filming. It would be filled with too many ers and ums and probably laced with an unhealthy dose of Anglo-Saxon. The Bavaria Cruiser 33 is still a current model within the Bavaria range, though it has now been renamed as a Cruiser 34. One of the many outstanding features of the boat is a beautifully engineered drop-down bathing platform. Though in itself a heavy piece of boat, it is finger light to raise back into place to complete the transom. A hot and cold shower exists to stop the bathers from dripping salt water throughout the boat. Another clever feature is the way the cockpit was designed to allow easy passage past the helm to the forward part of the cockpit. The cockpit itself is, is a delight, with single wheel steering and the engine controls conveniently positioned at the pedestal. Lady Grey's Garmin instrumentation boasts fabulous daylight displays and she is equipped with autopilot, chart plotter and an AIS transceiver. The cockpit table provides an excellent bracing support when underway and has a very useful locker within it and even more usefully a couple of integrated cup holders. The leaves of the table raise to create an unusually large area for alfresco dining with a full height camper cover making this a much more comfortable environment than it might otherwise be given the somewhat variable UK weather. The blow decks accommodation is heated by Webasto diesel fired warm air heating to all the cabins and the heads. You will note the amount of lockers that Bavaria build into their boats. The large heads compartment has a Jabsco sea toilet that empties into a holding tank which in turn is emptied either by deck suction or overboard discharge. Referring back to our variable UK weather, you may find the wet hanging locker to be particularly useful. A hand basin with hot and cold mixer and a decent shower round out this well designed space. The forward cabin is equipped with a hanging locker and a storage locker with shelves. The overhead hatch has a retractable blind and mosquito screen. Back into the saloon, the large panoramic windows with integrated hatches are fitted with blinds and provide an abundance of natural light. The aft cabin features a large double berth hanging in storage lockers, a long shelf and a seat that is particularly useful if, like me, you have a bad back and want to put your socks on with some dignity. The excellent companion way steps provide safe access into the cabin and lift, assisted by two hydraulic rams, to provide access to a particularly user-friendly compartment. Access to the Volvo D130 engine, an upgrade from the standard 18 horsepower engine, is further enhanced by side panels from the aft cabin and the heads compartment. The galley is equipped with a deep stainless steel sink with hot and cold mixer, a large top loading refrigerator and a two burner gas cooker with oven. High and low level lockers provide plenty of storage options. We finish back in the saloon, this time with the table leaves lowered. I hope you find this video to be of some use and interest. For full details of this lovely craft please visit the website. For further information or to arrange to see Lady Grey please do contact me by email, whatsapp or phone.